It's a bountiful day in this hollow earth. A beautiful day for a hybrid. Do they shift shape? Boy, I feel great. Won't you be my cousin? Good morning, everybody, all throughout this holographic multiverse, y'all. And welcome to the most important meal of the day, shrimp for breakfast! Oh yeah, y'all. We back. Monday was an absolute freaking blast, a shit show, whatever you want to call it. Holy cow, I got so freaking lit. I could barely think, barely talk. Really had no business trying to make a video. Needed to immediately abort and get to that drawing table because I was so freaking hot when I hit that. I posted up the little sketch that I did. Oh my God, your your old shrimp daddy is cooking on this new coloring book. I think I've already sketched out almost the entire book. I have over 40 pages sketched out. So I'm getting close because it's 55 pieces, 55 new pieces. Woo, I am cooking right now. Absolutely in the zone, but we're getting ahead of ourselves, y'all. Let's get a sip of this strong black cup of coffee. <laughs> Let's get a gargle going, guys. Oh, and you know we back with the main ingredient. Do, 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 do. We're back with the packs. Do, 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 do. And I neglected to mention on Monday that we were smoking the first of our latest set, our latest harvest of those dank homegrown greens, y'all. <laughs> and boy, are they freaking potent. Uh, the ones that I was puffing on on Monday are actually, uh, we had a little blowdown and part of one of the plants blew down and it had to be harvested early. Um, and I wasn't even sure if it was going to be really that potent because it was a little bit before I would have wanted to have to harvest it. But oh my gosh. It got me so freaking lit. This stuff is so tasty. It is amazing. If you have the opportunity to grow your own stash, I highly recommend it because it is delish. It, there's nothing like it. So we'll see how it is in the packs. It might not be quite dry enough for the packs, but let's see. Oh, yeah, it is, baby. Oh, yeah, it is, baby. Mmm. Woo! Here we go again, y'all. The funny thing about Monday was I was all ready to not even have to talk or think. I had my garbage pail kids ready to go, ready to go through this juicy stack of my childhood garbage pail kids, as well as some other goodies that I found over the weekend in cleaning through some bins. But I just went, I tried to launch, I don't know what it was. It turned into a word salad goldfish brain like stroke out <laughs> so i hope there was some good stuff in there. I, I jumped in and tried to watch some of it and i was like oh god i don't even know if this should be up so let me know if i should take that down if i should leave it up i don't really care that much i'm like yo as long as i didn't say something absolutely terrible that's gonna get me canceled leave it up it's just me being stupid right and we all know i love to be dumb because it, it's what comes naturally to me y'all But I hope everybody is out there feeling inspired this week. I hope you have really sat down and got those goals. I hope you are. I hope some of you got that golden little nugget on the episode before the Brain Melt episode. At the end, we outlined a new workshop, a dream life workshop for everyone, aka creatives and normies, right? that I'm developing a little mini workshop, a little boot camp, a little crash course, a little two week 
uh, 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 you know, dream life, whatever, you know, and if you are, uh, what am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying right now? Let me gather my thoughts. It's already happening. Hold on. All right. If you are looking for a hidden gem, go seek it out because I described, I outlined the workshop. I gave it to y'all for free, right? Of course, when you take it with me, you get the you get the explanation video, you get the hype video, and then we have the one-on-one -on -one session where we're, where we're working through where you're at and, and, and trying to kind of mind meld and figure it out together, get that inspirational destiny breakthrough, right? So, but if you want, it is there for the taking, y'all. It is there for the taking. Now, we got to be really careful. I can already feel the brain slipping as my tolerance gets back up here, guys. I have to be careful to keep these concise and to keep these tight. And they don't need to go for almost 40 minutes of me just rambling the same shit. I know it's like, what is this guy even talking about again and again and again? So... This is an AMA. Ask me questions. I was almost thinking about doing a live one. So maybe we'll do some of these live, y'all. Should we do some of these live and, and field questions from you live on air? That would be pretty fun. Would they take me off for smoking live? I don't know. Oh, yeah, y'all. Oh, audiobook. Absolution by Jeff Vandermeer, part four of now the quadrilogy of the Southern Reach trilogy. Now the Southern Reach quadrilogy. If y'all have ever, you've, you've heard me talk about it before. If you've ever seen the movie Annihilation with Natalie Portman, um, directed by the director from Ex Machina, uh, his name's escaping me right now. My it's it might be my favorite set of books. The the area X, right? Going in exploring this area that's been changed by something crashing there, and the melding between all the life forms in the area and people trying to wrap their minds around it. Holy cow, it is. I've listened to that trilogy over and over again. And yesterday, the fourth book came out and I couldn't be more excited. I really do feel, y'all know that there's been nothing but bad luck and trouble lately, but here we are. The Celtic season is back, y'all. We got a win over the new look Knicks, more like the no look Knicks. Where are my Knicks fans out there? Eh, sorry about last night, y'all. Y'all got slaughtered. 132 to 109. Oh my God. We coming back. We going back to back. It was banner night last night in Boston. So things are looking up. The Celtics getting their championship rings on. Can really feel the energy starting to shift. Energy starting to change. Uh, I've been really dialing in the good habits on my end. And all the things I can control since we've been in this weird vortex of bad luck and trouble. It does feel like things are starting to turn around and things are starting to shift. We got some more jobs getting lined up, talking about what's coming after the puzzle. Looks like we're going to be jumping into something with Cycling Frog, a very fun project for y'all. Um, and uh, we got more Adventure Time stuff talking on the door, trying to work that out, trying to uh, uh, get 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 my next work session in on this uh this uh, 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 Disney VizDev project I've been working on. There is lots of fun ahead, y'all. But let's jump into these freaking cards before I just lose it, y'all. Before we just get more of the same old bullshit words. I hate when I start doing the word salad, right? When it starts to just be the, the hot words and, and the concepts that I'm trying to get across, but not the coherent breakthroughs, right? We don't want to be terribly repetitive, even though I know I probably am. All right, let's take a look at what we got, y'all. Oh, this is an apt card right off the top of the deck. You know we needed the mascot. Blasted Billy up in here. This is me trying to talk to you that video the other day. This is what I needed was just to grab this deck of cards and go through this instead of trying to explain the universe and myself to you once again. But you know we just trying to hype you up. We just trying to get you motivated for this 
fourth quarter of 2024. It's championship rounds. It's winning time, y'all. Let's make these plans. Let's freaking execute. And if you want to start the year off right, jump into that Gosham Classic Workshop. These garbage pill kids, these are my actual ones. Oh yeah, look at these. Got the checklist on the back. Some of them had the so these are all stickers, right? If you don't know about Garbage Pail Kids, these are all stickers. And they're so good. They're making fun of Cabbage Patch dolls, which were very popular. And then there was always two of each one, which is kind of genius. So what do we got? Muggin' Megan and Patty Putty here. Look at this. It's just totally insane. These are so subversive and so weird. Very much like, uh, like Mad Magazine-ish. And then what we've got different. Oh, look. Jed and Dan. Oh my God. I wrote my name. I wrote my, we wrote our names on this. My friend Jed, dude, found Jed's dead dog in the river. Who remember what Gosham Pastorian remembers that, that pivotal event when we found Jed's dead dog in the river after flooding. Oh my God. Spaz Award. He got the Spaz Award. I got the Sneak Award. Wow, that's pretty fitting considering we drank some Sneak this morning with our workout. Hey, oh, get yourself some Sneak. These were so fun. They got all kinds of little hidden stuff to explore, even though they're just cards. Oh, this is so classic. These are so nostalgic for me. One, uh, what is this? One Eye Jack, this giant. And I know they're making new Garbage Pail Kids, yo. Tops, hit me up. I think it's Tops. I would love to do magic cards. I used to love to, when magic came out, we used to play that all the time. And I would love, love, love to do some garbage pale kids cards. So if Tops is out there, if anybody is connected to Tops, I think I hit up somebody, maybe Wizard of Barge, and said, yo, hook me up with that. Tops, energy. Shout out Betty and Barney Hill. What are we talking about? What are we talking about, y'all? Oh, Marty Mouthful. Look at this. Oh, my God. Tongue tied. This was me trying to make that video last week. I mean, in the beginning of the week. Ah! Holy cow. Oh, my God. This was me this morning on the workout. Brett Sweat. Look at that. This guy, this, this one looks like maybe it was... Did it shrink or was it peeled off? Sometimes you try to like put the put the sticker back on the card. You can see the outline there. Brett Sweat. Look at how freaking yoked Brett is. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at these. Char Chad and Fry and Ryan. Holy cow. Look at that. This one is this one. The some of the border got ripped off. These are all so freaking iconic. These are all, all so classic. Oh my God, the colors in them are great. The lighting in them is great. These are so well executed. They're actually like almost crazy realistically done <laughs> because they are like almost like hyper realistic depictions of these dolls. Jolly Roger, <laughs> Jolly Roger and Peg Leg Peter. Oh my Lord, look at that. <laughs> garbage Pail Kids are so freaking awesome, dude. I need to work on some new Garbage Pail Kids. I might just have to bust out some of my own for fun. Mark Bark and Kennel. Kenny, who can picture that? Where my old head's at? <laughs> Got a lot of doubles in here. These are, we got rounded corners. These definitely wouldn't be very gradable, highly gradable, but I would really never want to get rid of these. Look at Jed had his name on both of these. Damn, dude, Jed's dead dog. He's really owning up to that. We were out there looking. Oh, here's one. Some of them have where they make the big puzzle on the back. You put them all together and they make a giant image. Those were awesome. Like a great way to just get people to collect them. Acne, Amy. Oh my Lord. Everybody knows a kid like this in school, right? Ooh, Pizza Moon. Pizza Moon, Pizza Moon. If I don't see you again, it won't be too soon. All right. Oh my God. Ventilated Vinny. Tell me you know this one. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, the cigar, smoking a cigar, and the cigar's being shot. Holy cow. Look at that. 
amazing. I think, uh, is it Art Spiegelman who did Mouse? I think he did some of these, right? I think there were some like heavy hitter artists that did these back in the day, even though they're really not in anybody's style. Oh my God, Principal Les Edinson. I wrote my principal's name, wanted for brainwashing. There you go, Les Edinson, my, my uh, elementary school principal who used to be so mean to me that he would make me cry in his office. What a fucking terrible adult. Can you imagine that? Your kids just being kids and this adult wants to drag them in there and make them break them and make them cry. Good Lord. Joe Blow and Rod Wad. Oh my God. Bazooka. They got bazooka gum. That must have been also by the same company. Smacking on his lips. That was a classic one. With that, with that real gross, crusty gum, y'all. Oh my lord! Oh, Roy Bot, this is a great one. This is like a little Starscream Optimus Prime. Oh my god, look at that! He's got weird eyes. He looks kind of spooky. Oh my god, what is this here? Oh, this is a big picture of if you collect all 18 cards of Puzzle B. <laughs> that's what it makes. Oh, my God. Like a huge poster almost. I got to put these. I don't think I have any. I, mean, I wonder if I do. Oh, my God. Blake Flake. Oh, this is bringing me back. This is making me think of we used to have a store day in elementary school where you could bring stuff and open a little store and trade goods and sell goods, I think, for like dimes and nickels and, you know, small money. And, and that was really fun. And I think that's where I got this. Blake Flake really bringing back some memories with the, with the uh, checklist on the back. What series is this? Third series. Looks like some of these, looks like a lot of these. Oh, I've checked off which ones I have. Joe Blow, Blake Flake, Drew Blood, Bruised Lee, Alligator. Oh, Alligator's so good. Punchy Perry, Juicy Jessica, Foul Raul, <laughs> Half Nelson, Roy Bot, we saw that. Rod Wad, Bustin Dustin, Karate Kate, Peepin' Tom, Berserk Kirk. Oh, let's see what else we have in here. Oh, Drew Blood and Bustin Dustin right there. Straight out of the UFC. Bing bong. And speaking of UFC, we got UFC 308 this weekend, y'all. Oh, my God. Where am I? We are in sports heaven this week with the Celtics coming back with UFC 308. Ilya Taporia versus Max Holloway for the belt. And the, I mean, it would be the people's main event, but the main event is so stacked. But Hamzat Shemaev versus your boy Robert Whitaker, the Reaper. What a freaking set of matchups those are. There are other juicy fights on the card. Shara Bullet, the Pirates on there. Oh my God. You should get in the UFC if you're not, because it will make you excited. Here we go. Karate Kate and Bruce Lee right on, right on time arriving. Smashing bricks is what we're going to be seeing in the first 10 seconds of that main event. And to make it better, it's not on at 10 o'clock at night like the usual pay-per-views. It starts at 2 p.m., so we might just get a couple friends over and make a day of it. You know what I'm saying? Punchy Perry, there he is. Oh, a Punchy Perry. Those things, are they, yeah, they still have those. Those little blow-up punching dolls. I remember we used to have one around here. Oh, alligator. Super classic shape-shifting reptilian. Garbage Pail Kids giving you clues, y'all. You got to dig deep. You got to look. You got to see what's right in front of your face. <laughs> Let's get another sip of this old sipper, this old Betty and Barney Hill. Over at Indian Head. Look at that. Look at that mighty view. You can hike up there. Woo, Juicy Jessica. My first girlfriend in kindergarten was named Jessica Berry, and she broke her arm sledding when we were supposed to hang out one day. Never forget it. Oh, foul Raul. 
<laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. These are just so good, dude. These must have been so goddamn fun to come up with. Bullseye berry. There's a little sideways, little little rare horizontal flip. The principles on the back again. Peeping Tom. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, so good. Really reminiscent of my man, the boy who cried Wolfman, right? This is very garbage pale kitty with uh, the way we've been, you know, I'm thinking, was definitely thinking of Ninja Turtles when I made this figure. Also didn't realize this figure was gonna be so incredibly large. Was thinking about He-Man, was thinking about Ninja Turtles, right? As we were designing this figure, poseable, got the got the little removable whiskey, whiskey joint right there, slurping on that, that devil's freaking souse. Very, very Garbage Pail Kid vibes in here. Very, very Garbage Pail Kids inspired, y'all. All right, Berserk Kirk. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That's for the spooky season here. Halloween is almost upon us. What's your Halloween plans, y'all? If you're up in this video, give me a shout. Give me a shout out. Give me a comment. Give me a question. I'll take compliments. You know what I'm saying? Where my sports fans at? Who's your team? If you're if you're watching this video, check in. Just let us know where you're watching from. Where are you at? What are you doing, y'all? What you doing with your life? Half Nelson. That's a great one. Oh my God! Look at that. Oh, kid sister. I got my sister's name on there. Molly wanted kid sister for disorderly conduct. Oh, Wormy Shermy. Oh my God getting conquered in the night by them glowies fat mats alias slobby robbie <laughs> look at these they just have all kinds of wacky stuff on the back these are just packed with hilarious creativity diaper dan look at that there i am skewered by my own petard green mohawk oh iron jaw aaron <laughs> chomping on it like jaws right out of james bond what do we got dotty dribble double face dotty dribble happy sad ew drooling snot coming out classic ugly haunts ugly haunts that is so good Oh my God, so weird. See, again, look at the pa the painting. It's like really, these are really technically well executed. Oh, Locked Dorian. Oh my God, that's a great one. They probably wouldn't even, well, no, because they are making them. I, I wonder if they let you do, some of these ones might be even too mean spirited for today. I mean, not that I think they are, but other people might. Oh my God, look at that. That's the puzzle. The boy sucking his skin off with a goddamn vacuum. Flaming Raymond. Oh, and Hot Toddy double checklist these are great burning his face off in the center of the water fountain it's a fire fountain oh my god i remember that but i don't even remember that how genius is that oh my god and there's a puddle on the ground to boot that is so freaking funny frozen flow classic look at that so good Garbage Pail Kids, we're getting down to the last three. Gulliver, Travis, another horizontal one with his bike tires in the back there. Just bug it out. That is great. Wally Walnut. Oh, these are just pure freaking nostalgia, y'all. These are so good. Your boy would even give it a shot to, you know, I mean, I would never be able to make it look like this, but it would be really fun to see what a ghost shrimp version of Garbage Pail Kids would look like. And last but not least, we've got Wiped Out Winnie getting meta with it. Look at that, wiping away even the Garbage Pail Kids logo. Oh, this one has a little comic on the back with a little ad for an armpit to pay. Absolutely classic, y'all. Woo, there we go. Going through some fun discoveries. We've been going through a bunch of stuff that comes back from my mom's house whenever she visits. Uh, lots of sports cards. These were mixed in there. Thought that'd be fun. Lots of toys. Even found a old Christmas 
uh, uh, Christmas list from 1987 and there's some good stuff on there we got to that to go over but we're gonna cap this off i'm trying to make these shorter a little more concise maybe even under 20 minutes y'all see how y'all like that but do not forget to pick up a copy of the lost force y'all working on the second book right now you're not gonna want to miss out on the first one get up on it color some pages post them up tag me so i can share it People have been sharing their ghost shrimp tattoos lately. If you have a ghost shrimp tattoo, post a pic, tag me, share it. I will share it in my stories. Might even snapshot it, put it on the main feed and give you a shout out. I will be following everybody who has ghost shrimp tattoos, y'all. And if you don't have one, pick your favorite ghost shrimp piece and go and get it for free, y'all. On the house, compliments of me. Of course, you have to pay for the actual <laughs> tattooing, but you don't need to pay me for it, right? All right, and never remember, never forget to remember that we all have more in common than we've got in conflict, y'all. Don't buy into this mainstream hype. Don't buy into the powers that be trying to rip us apart. We're all on the same team, y'all. All over this hollow globe, right? I love y'all, and I want to inspire y'all, and I want you to love everybody else and inspire everybody else it sounds very idealistic it sounds very utopian but guess what we need a little more of that out here these days don't we all i know that sometimes it's easy to look at the differences but we need to look at what we have in common because you have more in common than you have in conflict i promise you that we all want safety we all want a good future we all want to be happy and healthy and we can, I think, have a shot at doing that, y'all. I think that's part of this weird game. I think that's part of this weird choose-your-own-adventure is that there are worlds in which we could achieve that to some extent, right? Life is never perfect, but if we put all of our engineering and ingenuity and creativity and imagination, all those amazing human superpowers towards being on the same team, towards working together, towards uplifting one another. I can really see it in my mind. And I think I need to start drawing it out so I can share that vision with everybody, right? But ba 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 bang Let's finish this fourth quarter strong, y'all. Midweek, Wednesday. What are we going to do? I will see you Friday morning. All right, so let's get something done. I'm going to crank out. I think I got like... Almost 10 pages sketched out yesterday from the book. I'm working on the technical mechanics of that magical puzzle right now. Really dialing in those switching overlapping sections where, where, two, where the top half of the puzzle splits in two and switches spots and has to match up in both spots. It's incredibly technical and tricky, but it's so freaking cool. So there we go, a little shrimp for breakfast, y'all. Hope you feel energized. Hope you feel motivated. Spread it to your loved ones. Spread it to your cousins. Go freaking Celtics. We about to repeat, y'all. See you on Friday morning. Bang!